Hi, I'm Sharon Hearn Smith, and my cookbook is called No Bake Baking. And today I'm preparing some festive treats with Mummy Pages. Now, you may not think that chocolate and chestnuts would be rocking around the Christmas tree together, but actually they make for a cracking combo. And I'm going to use them together in my mini chestnut cheesecake sundaes, which make perfect little treats for end of meal, or also for those little midnight fridge pickings. So these are layered up little cheesecakes with cookies, but the glasses are decorated with a really pretty topping. So I'm just going to show you how to make my final two. There is one, and I have two more to make. So all I did was dip the top of the glass into some melted chocolate. You can use any chocolate you like for this. It's just a bit of glue, and it tastes nice too. Dip it in and let the excess drip off, and then dip it into some sprinkles. These are cute little red, white, and pink colored hearts. So they're a nice color for Christmas time. But you can use whatever you have. And then the second one, the same thing, dip it into the chocolate. The kids are gonna have great fun getting involved with this. Dip it all around to stick. And there you go, that's the glasses ready. Now for the filling, for the cheesecake part, I have some mascarpone cheese, which I'm just going to soften up a little bit in a, in a bowl. And then I'm going to add some caster sugar to sweeten it up a little and mix that around. And then for the chestnut part, you're probably wondering how on earth I'm going to get chestnuts involved in this. So I have bought some chestnut puree, which you can pick up in the supermarket or in a good deli. And it comes in a can, and I'm just using part of that. Now, this is unsweetened chestnut puree, so it tends to be a little bit grainy. So I like to pop it into a processor and give it a quick blitz to make it really smooth. Let's have a look. That is perfect. It's just taken that kind of natural graininess out of it. So just add that chestnut puree into the mixture. Now you might not be convinced by the chestnut in a sweet treat just yet, but believe me, it goes really well with the chocolate. Now you can also buy sweetened chestnut puree. It's not as common, but sometimes you can find it. And if you do, it tends to be a bit smoother, so you don't need to blitz it. And also just leave the sugar out of the mixture because it's sweet enough. So give everything a really good mix together. And this is a great instant treat because really that's our cheesecake filling made now. Delicious. And then for the biscuit layer, I'm using some double chocolate chip cookies. And I just need to bash them up. Now you could pop them into a processor to make them quite fine, but I don't mind if they're a little bit rough. And also getting a rolling pin out and bashing is sometimes good at Christmas time to relieve stress. Hmm, who was I thinking of there? So to that, I'm just going to add some chopped up and toasted hazelnuts. Chuck them into the bag and just give it a toss around to mix. And then I'm just going to tip them back out into the bowl. Now, I'm just going to have a quick tidy up before we start the assembly. Now, so pull back in the glasses which I've prepared, and then I'm just going to simply layer up. So again, this is a great job for the kids. It might keep them occupied and quiet for a, a small bit of time. But basically, just um, tip into the top, bottom of the glass a little crumble of the biscuit, chocolate biscuits and nuts. And by the way, if you don't like hazelnuts, you could use other nuts like pecans or almonds. They all work really deliciously well in this. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay, and then the next layer, of course, is the cheesecake layer. So just grab a couple of spoons. Yummy. And blob a little bit of that in. And the same on all of the glasses. And then just repeat with the biscuit. Mm. 
And you're getting the idea now, more cheesecake. Layer. And then final layer, just some more biscuits. So as you're eating through this, it's going to be like a lovely crunchy layer met with the creamy chestnutty layer. It's going to be delicious. So I'm just going to repeat those layers with the remaining glasses. So they are the layers of the cheesecake all done. And now for an even more fun part, the decorating. So I'm going to top each one with a little bit of whipped cream. Now I work as a food stylist normally. And so while I love food and the flavor of food is really important, I'm just crazy about things looking really nice also. So for me, when you see these finished, you'll see what I mean. I absolutely love them. So a little blob of cream on each one. And then a little sprinkling of some edible pearls. There's some lovely colors in here. There's such a fantastic range of sprinkles and drops and drizzles and sprozzles and all the rest in supermarkets and online and in baking stores now. And then to really top them off, I have some really fun maraschino cherries. And these are the type of cherries that you buy in a jar. They're cocktail cherries, and these ones have stems on. Now, they can be tricky to find with the stems on, but again, particularly around Christmas time, the supermarkets should have them in, or good delis, or you could hound, you know, your local cocktail maker and ask him to give you a little handful of the cherries with the stalk. But if you can't find the stalk on, they're available without anyway. But don't they look cool? Okay, and if that's not enough excitement, I have some really cute little flags to finish off. So I've just handmade them. They're little paper straws that have been cut in half. And then just a little paper flag. Again, a perfect job for the kids, bit of arts and crafts, keep them quiet for a few minutes. Don't they look really pretty? They are a great festive treat. They are my mini chestnut cheesecake sundaes.